Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about our red zone rooms. Now we all know I have that red, green, I'm sorry, red, yellow, and green chart. I never can remember the order of the colors. But the red zone is uh, a grouping of room sizes and volumes that just simply won't work for most usages, except maybe vocals because they're just too small. They, they can't handle energy. So then we have our yellow zone, which, you know, is bigger, has the same problems as the red zone, but at least we have space for treatment. Then we have our green zone, which is usually ideal for treatment and space and most usages. So this is a red zone room case study. I want to talk about these because I'm seeing a lot of these in our room forms. I'm seeing a lot of rooms that are nine foot wide, eight foot ceilings, 11 foot lengths. You know, I'm seeing seven foot wide, eight foot lengths, eight foot ceilings. Everything really small. So most of the time I, I see two dimensions that are single digits. So it's either eight or nine feet. We have a ceiling height of eight feet. We have a width of nine feet. We maybe have a length of 10 rarely. So they're very, very small rooms. It's getting to be kind of a, a big size or a common size people are trying to do. And what are they trying to do? They're trying to mix in it. They're trying to record in it. They're trying to do a lot of different things in it. And really it's only good for voice in most cases. Now I get it, you know, real estate's expensive and you want to enjoy your hobby. You can't make a living in these small rooms. You can't mix in a room that's eight by eight by eight. Forget it, you can't. So, and in the red zones, you really can't make livings in it for a lot of reasons. Why? First off, if we're going to mix or record in a room that's, let's say, eight, eight foot wide by eight foot high by nine foot long, okay, first thing we're going to have to do is treat the low frequency because the room is the low frequency nightmare. Nothing's going to work in these dimensions. You're going to have problems at a hundred cycles because what's a hundred cycles? It's 11 foot long. So you're going to have problems at 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 30. So everything below 140 cycles roughly in this room is going to be a problem. Yikes. So we have to treat. Now here's the problem. There's just simply no space for treatment. How do we give up the 12 inches required to treat low frequency in it. Now we're down to six. We can't make a living in that room. We can't do anything in that room. We can listen to headphones. That's about it. Ceiling height we usually can't mess with. Nine feet, we lose two feet. We use a foot off the front wall and a foot off the rear wall. We're down to seven. So now we have a room that's six, eight, seven. Yikes, can't even do that. So no room, no space for treatment. No space for diffusion, so that's out of the question. Diffusion is a technology we should consider because it's a technology to make a small room sound larger. We don't have any space. We don't have enough space for the diffused energy wavelengths to fully form. So another issue we're faced with is we must treat all four surfaces at a minimum. Well, how do you treat surfaces that are eight, six, eight, nine, seven? Every treatment has depth requirements. So you're going to make the room even smaller, which is what we have to do when we're treating for low frequency, but you can't make it so small it's worse. Remember the first rule in acoustics is do no harm. So you got to limit the usage and limit the pressure in the room. That's why I say most of these small rooms are only good for vocals. So, and I'm painfully honest as my one customer told us about rooms and I'm going to tell you the first thing is to get a new room, try to find something. Don't waste your time and energy trying to fix this room. You can't. Now, one possible thing to do it's, is not treat the lows at all because you don't have the room. Treat the reflections off the wall surfaces. You can do that for, with two inch foam. And in these smaller rooms, 750 to thousand dollars does it, but you'll have no low end. So if you cross your speakers over above 60, 70, 80 cycles, you know, you got a room that you can do a little bit of monitoring in. But as a general rule with these red zone rooms, you got to find another room. 
So look to the yellow zone in our chart, look to the green zone, because the, at least we have a fighting chance there to get you some quality sound no matter what the usage. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.